Okay, today I'm going to explain to you a little bit about what the 6.5 PCC is. Um, here I've got a Frankford Arsenal uh, case trimmer, and this is set to the right length to trim a piece of once fired um, and polished uh, 223 brass. So I just polished this in uh, corn cob media with the uh, Lucas Oil metal polish, and. Put it in the trim die. And when I feel it stop trimming, pull it out. I'm going to do the inside chamfer and an outside chamfer. So that's what the case ends up coming out of the uh, trim die looking like. And then I'll show you how we size it. Okay, I've got a full length uh, sizing die into my rock chucker for the 6.5 PCC and I'm going to uh, put in a case that's been trimmed and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and lube the case mouth and then lube the body that's going to deprime and full length size and change the diameter of the case mouth from 223 up to 65 PCC. Okay, a little more on the 65 PCC. Uh, this is the case that I just uh, resized. Uh, you know, wipe the lube off of it and you can see uh, it's got a fairly short neck. These are my dies. Uh, this is the full length sizing die, the seating die, and because of this short case neck, a Lee factory crimp die, a collet crimping die, is very important uh, to make sure you get the proper amount of case neck tension. Um, these are some loaded rounds with 107 grain um, Sierra Match King. And you can see that the uh, the bullet actually does go quite a ways down into the case. And then I want to show you a the difference between a fired and a formed case. If you look at the one on the right, that's the one that I just um, that I just processed. And if you look at the one on the left, you'll see that the shoulder is steeper. So even though we're fire forming these, the accuracy is still very, very good in the uh, from these cases. So this is a uh, once fired in 223 and then formed, and then obviously loaded. And then this one here is what it, they look like when they've been fired. I've been using 107 grain Match Kings, also 123, uh, 123 grain Amax from Hornady really can't go to the 140s they just use up too much case volume and the velocity drops down way too much but out of a 18 inch barrel uh, using 22 and a half grains of exterminator with 105 I'm getting velocities right around 2650 feet per second um, so that's pretty good velocity uh, sound the same theory as the 300 blackout in that the brass processing for the 65 PCC is even easier it's really just taking once fired brass, uh, trimming it to length, and then running it through your full length processing die. Um, even though I showed it to you manually one step, this can easily be set up on a 650 with one of the modified uh, shell plates, or I'm sorry, one of the modified um, sh die holders um, for the 650 that will take the 1200 uh, trimmer. And so, pretty straightforward.